This video will discuss Hund's rules for ranking the relative energies of the different term symbols of an atom. So for ranking our term symbols, we look at the values of S, L, and J. The first thing we're going to look at is the value of S. So which term symbol has the largest value of S? That's the one that's most stable. So for our first example we did, which was a ground state carbon atom, we had triplet P, singlet D, and singlet S. So the triplet P wins the day there and is ranked higher than the singlets. For our excited state beryllium, we had a triplet P and a, and a singlet P, so the triplet P wins. Then our second rule is if they have the same S, we look at the value of L. The largest value of L is the most stable, or the lowest energy. So for our carbon atom, we have only P's for the triplets. Within the singlets, we have a D and an S. So D is L equals 2, S is L equals 0. So the singlet D wins over the singlet S. Singlet D is lower in energy than singlet S. All right, then our final rule, our final tiebreaker is if we have the same value of S and L, we look whether our unfilled subshell is greater than half full or less than half full. So if our subshell is greater than half full, like it was for our 3D9 configuration, then we say that the largest J is the most stable. So for our 3D9, there are 10 spin orbitals in a D subshell. 9 is more than half. 5 would be half. So doublet D5 halves has a larger value of J, being more than half full. So it is lower in energy than doublet D3 halves. Then if the subshell is less than half full, we would do the reverse, where the smallest J would be the most stable. So alternatively, if I did 3D1, 3D1 has the same term symbols as 3D9, but in 3D1, the 3 halves would be more stable than 5 halves for J, because the smallest value of J would be the most stable for less than half full. So this procedure works best for ground states. It works best for things with one partially filled subshell. Our excited state beryllium, uh, that's a little bit confusing for the values of J within our triplet P because I don't know whether this is half filled, more than half filled, less than half filled. We've got two partially filled subshells there, so I don't exactly know how to apply those rules. So if you find yourself with something that doesn't seem to apply to these rules here, then I would say ask your professor or your TA for your course because I am not sure what the rule is in that case.